In the Google Test Kitchen, they're cooking up something called Music FX. Let's check it out. When we first get to this page, after logging in with our Google account, a Gmail account works just fine. This is the screen that we get, and on the left, we have a prompt box, and it's already pre-filled with a random prompt. And if you like it and want to use it, just click in there, tap tab on your keyboard, and that's the prompt you'll have to go with. You can click generate, this big pink button down on the bottom. Now we got two variations of this toe-tapping, foot-stomping Americana. <laughs> That'll be enough of that. And here's the second version. Each of those is 30 seconds long. The three dots menu over on the right gives us the option to copy the prompt or flag the output if something comes out bad or wrong. It does give us a disclaimer down here at the bottom that AI outputs may sometimes be offensive or inaccurate. You gotta do a lot to offend me. Actually, inaccuracy is the only thing that would offend me. Down below the generation, you can copy a share link. You can download this track. It downloads as an MP3 file. You can adjust settings and it will tell you that the settings are only going to apply to future output. So if you make a change here, it's not going to automatically regenerate with that prompt. It's just going to set that change for anything you generate from this point forward. You've got a seed, you've got the track length, 30 seconds, 50 or 70 seconds. You can also enable looping so that the end of the song matches up with the beginning of the song so that you can just play it straight through over and over again on a loop and not have a harsh change. It has these chips here which are the colorful drop downs that give you some similar options of what's already there to change it to so instead of foot stomping we might want head bopping shoulder swaying finger snapping maybe i want all four of those anyway instead of americana it says uh, maybe reggae rock or folk music you could switch it up make little adjustments that way just by selecting a different option from the chips you can get rid of everything you have in there you can type in something all entirely on your own you can click the I'm feeling lucky and it will create a new prompt for you and just start generating it. In this case, it came up with a repetitive melody that creates an eerie, unsettling atmosphere. Well, that sounds just delightful. Let's take a listen. Definitely repetitive. I don't know about eerie. I'd go more irritating, probably just because of the repetition. Let's see what the second generation sounds like. That one was a little bit better. Again, the repetitive part, I think, is just what's throwing me off. But look, whether I love it or not, it's making music. And these have both been based on the random prompts that it just comes up with. So I wouldn't necessarily expect to love it. Let's try something totally different. This might be a little weird. Let's try a hip hop beat with trap influence, punchy bass and saxophone. Generate. All right. This might be good. I didn't hear any saxophone in there. Let's check the second one. Nope, no sax in there either. What options do the chips have for us? Uh, flute, clarinet, trumpet. No, no thanks. For punchy bass, we could say melodic guitar, steady drum beat, or spacey synths. I think a steady drum beat might work. Instead of a trap influence, house, techno, trance? I don't even know what trance music is. Is that something witches and warlocks do? We'll add solo to the end of saxophone. Switch that to steady drum beat. Give it another shot. decent tracks but I still didn't get my saxophone. It also gives you more suggestions down here at the bottom below the prompt box. And if none of those are really doing it for you, you can also click this more button and it'll add a few more. Now don't ask this thing to reference any specific artist or create vocals. Otherwise those prompts will not be generated. So no vocals, even much less any particular artist. Now I have had it oddly enough, even though you can't ask it to put in vocals, I've had it generate vocals, but 
I don't understand anything in the vocal. So I don't know if they're another language or a non-language. And just since it's being sung in a song, it doesn't sound like gibberish. They do say that they are using synth ID to embed a digital watermark in the output so that they would be able to identify anything that this generates as having originated from here. Now, here's another fun thing I found to do with this, and that is to just start with a blank prompt box. Come down here to these things, these suggestions at the bottom. Let's click catchy. And then when we move catchy up, something else will take its place down here and we can pick up some other stuff. Maybe we do R&B. How about some violins rocking? And roll click the more button see what other options we get no i don't want a french horn or a triangle oh bass heavy that sounds good that's probably enough to make something really confusing let's hit generate see what we get i know some of this stuff just sounds like putting ketchup on ice cream like it's no way it can be any good but sometimes this thing surprises me so let's check it out See, that didn't come out bad at all. This thing definitely gets points for simplicity. I mean, it couldn't be any easier than type some stuff in a prompt box and hit generate and it puts it together and gives it to you. It's super cool that they built in looping so that if you want to create just some background, ambient music, whatever, there you go. Now this is Google. So I don't know if this will ever become a full fledged product or tool within another product or if it'll just get retired, but hey, go play with it and have some fun while it's here. Thanks for hanging out with me and watching this video. I hope it was helpful or at least entertaining and I hope to see you in the next video.